He has a shittier arm than I thought. I thought his arm was at least gonna be like an 80. Ew. Who has Seven. the best arm? <laughs> On my team is Bryce. <laughs> Oh my god. You can, it's fucking free bases when you're running. <laughs> yeah. In <laughs> left we've got Lourdes, 66. In center we've got Manuel, 61. And Bryce is a 72. Yeah. If I got a man on second or third, I'm tagging every time. <laughs> I'm so happy he just gave me Salvi, though. Now your offense has to make up for it. So, but you know they you're do. absolutely, which you're absolutely fine with. So, and now Kyle Tucker, and we are set for baseball here this evening. All right, come on, Kyle Tucker. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch, and we are. You probably run it back with the Rays again. The first pitch of the evening is taken I that trade that I just made to needs to set up for another. To begin the evening, it's oh, two. I see you. So who you probably think? I need. I'm probably gonna try and get a two for one for Bryce. Get like another, like a gold True. outfielder and a gold corner infielder. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound, and he is gonna reach to start the ball game. Didn't hit it far, but it's an infield single. Gene Segura standing in. This will take a look at a slide. So yeah, I have to contact swing with one. Gene and Yuli Gurriel. Behind 0 and 2 now. Because they just Kenley. don't have the bat. By the way, the Dodgers are about to absolutely throw. They're bringing in oh, Kenley to face to uh, Austin Riley, there's Jock, one. and Duval. <laughs> yeah. Not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. In down for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. The Red Sox are up two to one in the series, the right? Correct. Good job to and let if they win, it it'll be three. Hitter. Yep. Please let them win. I know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, one, one. That's a great call right there. Econ, do you like Bryce or no? Yeah, I've never really done well with him. Great for a Eat catcher that if me. that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Segura, the runner at first with You think he'd give me Bryce end. for Vlad? Swing and a drive to uh, e. Maybe, but who do, does he have for possibly to replace him at third? Uh, I just gave him Ahmed Rosario. I don't know where he's playing. Ahmed can, is one of those where he can play fucking Here's anywhere. He's got. He still has. He has Vladdy at first. And he has Bregman and Austin Riley and Joey Wendell. So he has. Okay, so he actually has quite a few. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He actually has quite a few options. Get there to make the play for route number two. Now at the plate here is Josh Bell. I'll watch Tyler Stevenson. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back on it is the left fielder to the track. Thank you for Josh Bell, Breezy. That one is gone. He definitely got a big boost. He started playing great at the end of the year. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. <sighs> Swing and a liner, but this lands foul. It's a ball and a strike. Three runs. Jesus, over. Brantley. 117 contact right, 48 power right. One and two now. Man is a uh, contact hitter. Yeah. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. I'm trying to see. Here's the pitch. Get Lifted out towards straightaway but then again, Breezy, remember, this was PS4 and really bad controller. Yeah, um, who's S18 Roadhouse? 
That's Hickster. Oh, we changed his name? Yes. I might try and trade Clev. What's his name in real life? Ethan? Yeah. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Clevenger has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself. You fucking win. That's bull. Known for that, I'm just starter. That's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Hey. I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen who? likes it, and the manager likes Pete it. Pete Alonzo and Manny Machado. Hicksters? Yeah. And it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there. Oh, God. He does really well with Brandon Nemo. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. Brandon Nemo comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Yo, you think Rye guy would trade me Joey Votto? Hit out towards second. There's Segura. Throw I don't oh, think he would. God, have you seen his lefty stats? Joey Votto? Yeah. How bad is it? 43 and 58. Whew. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Yo, he, if, you think he tried me then? He has outfielders too. He's up to the baseman. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Not cheated there as he takes a big hack and it's three and two. Oh, uh, this is what you fired That's up my phone. right here. Um, Hard fastball against a power hitter. You think he would trade me? Logan Webb, Hunter Renfro, and Dansby for Bryce Harper, and I'd probably give him like a starter back. Saying it again, I was doing a pitch. Hunter Renfro, Dansby, and Logan Webb for Bryce Harper, and I'd probably give him a pitcher back. Hmm. Who would be the pitcher? Um, not anyone too good, because my pitcher staff is cock. Yeah. Yo, hold on. Right guy's not a fan of making huge deals, is he? No, he's in the business of trying to get one on on you. Yeah. I, I seriously think this could be a fair trade, though. But he does not see it like that, obviously. No. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know he's already rolling, getting somebody ready. Pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. But then again, uh -huh. this is Steph. I got to stay on my toes for this. And it's so I've got a four for two, I'm thinking. Okay. Now the one and one pitch. Actually, it might be a five Looked for two. Ball number two. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty he good. He would be giving me... Be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. A slider that oh, fuck. Runs away. It's three and one now. Um... And misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start probably. the second. So next to bat will be Roberto Perez. Bryce Harper and Corbin Burns for... Hey, Oscar, Hunter Renfro, Dansby, and Logan Webb. Send it to me like in a photo. Or like write it down for, for me. And he fouls this one off. I feel like I could just I could get more though. Yeah. One out, runner at first. You think he do bring up Oscar Mercado. Renfro and Swanson and for just Harper? I'm honestly down for that. That wouldn't be a bad trade at all. And he could give me like a, a reliever, like not a super cracked one, but like an okay one. Right. Guriel, base runner at first with one out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Is he active on Reddit right now? Who? Oh, you mean Discord? Yeah. Yeah, he actually is. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. 
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. You can really tell about how effective Fuck. this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Oscar Mercado goes down for his out outfield would be fucking crazy if he got this deal done. Yeah, because who else is his outfield? If this deal happened, he would have in right Bryce Harper in center. Um, Two's all over the place. Two probably on, Lariano on the and in left he had Stanton two. and off on his DH he had Teoscar. Yeah. Segura behind on a one and two count. Hey, this is a big pitch. Or he might just put Can't Liriano as DH. On, I don't know. His fielding is ridiculous. I would put Liriano in center. But Liriano has 43 contact the, <laughs> the man is a beast defensively though. The rest of his hitting stats aren't that bad. He's got a 43 contact right, and it's 88, 78, 65. The guy got to gotta lay off the PEDs, though. I know. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Wow. I can't believe the Dodgers came back to win that game. Braves literally had a chance to go up 3-0, and they fucking blew it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. That is it. The third baseman. Here's Nolan Arenado. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Swinging oh my god, I can see why he's trying to get rid of Nolan. <laughs> why? He's batting 125 with, with him. I can see why he's trying to get rid of him. Fuck, he has Brian Reynolds. To absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. This is pulled into right. Tucker is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Two down with a runner at first. And now what's uh, in what's Rye Guy's Uh, Rye Guy should be on there. He's not added to this the chat. I mistake in location right there. Yeah, can't be throwing a fastball down the middle against against him. Right guy zero five one five. Uh, three to two. I lead. At the plate, Mitch Garver. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and oh now. Looks like this He's guy's watching hockey. Nobody, nobody gives a fuck. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. 3-0 oh to him now. Did he say, I'm watching the wild? And the pitch. Yeah. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base yeah. as we go Nobody cares about hockey. Order. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. Pick on how's work, Ben. It's good. Even now, two and two. It's good. Ooh, it's going really good, actually. You making a lot of money? Yeah. Still doing well there. It's good. Digging in, the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. And we'll see what he can do uh, here after going deep his first time up. He jumped all over breaking stuff last time up on that homer. So I got to believe in the back of his mind, he I knows cannot believe he's probably that Cody getting a fastball in during this sequence. Hit a fucking home run. That's what I'm saying, dude. Long enough in the county Cut from the roster. One one. Guy was hitting, guy was batting 180. Yeah. In the regular season. Well, 
Oh, he just threw that fastball by him. Can't swing at that. And usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two-to-three putout for route number one. Here's the pitch. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Two down, no one on base. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. And that misses for ball one. And it's fouled away. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Nimmo gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Brandon Nimmo. First pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Segura fields it cleanly. And there's one down now. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he clearly couldn't make up his mind on that one coming in. A swing and a miss. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against it. That was such a great cutter, and he didn't swing at it. Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. I'm gonna go back to that cutter. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Oh! To stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here, six already. Yeah, I sent him the invite. The next twin up, Rafael Devers. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And that fastball's taken. You have to use the fastball the sparingly against him. Yeah. Or he and will he crush it. Foul. And he'll try and tempt him oh. with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Third inning, already a 3-2 ball game. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Ah. Throw to first in time. One gone. A perfect ground out. Love it. Perfect, perfect, and so it's a ground out. With one out now. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. Here's the first pitch to him. The 1 0 home. Fly ball into straightaway left. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Stepping in next, Roberto Perez struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. A one and two count to the Come Indians on. catcher. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Oscar Mercado digging in now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. 
I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. The second baseman. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. The Cardinals are uh, finally number one in power ranking. Nearly got the inside. They've earned it. I mean, it could have been a fucking a while ago. Like they gave it to the Bills, and the Bills got absolutely smoked. Yeah. By the fucking who they lose to the Steelers. Yeah. And then they lost last two strikes to Eduardo Escobar. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So now we've got a battle on our hands. And a half swing that time. So uh, note to self: if you go three zero against T Steph, he 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 will listen to TL to TLR. Tony LaRusso is his guy. He will not swing 3 0. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Oh my god, come on. Brian Reynolds waits on deck. And that's low ball four. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring up Brian Reynolds. This ball's grounded foul. The one Does Zach Krenke have a World Series ring? I don't know. Was he on that 2017? I don't think he was on that 2017 team. No, he wasn't. Yeah, I don't think he was. The arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Guriel is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. So two gone now for the Twins in their half of the fourth. And now stepping in is Mike Yastrzemski. Well, Maddie, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that ball. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. So stepping in is Mitch Garver. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Changeup called strike one. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. One and one, the pitch. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Ball two. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is one you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Racing back the left fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. And now the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. Swing and a liner. <sighs> this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Mondesi picks it up, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Ready now is Gene Segura. Flew out last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now. One out, nobody on. Well out in front of the breaking That's ball a there good for pitch. a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup yeah. and the pitch. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by Oh, the that's foul. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. The 
2 2 one more time. He swung on and missed strike three. So the next to bat will be Jose Ramirez. He had that two run home run back in the first, making him one for two so far. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Breezy. What's up? My boy is back. Who's that? You know who. Jose? Yep. Two home runs in this game. Mondesi is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. I need to get somebody in the pen ready though. Clevenger's almost up there. Here's the first pitch. And now the infield shifts into a bunt prevent formation. No surprise with the speed that's at the plate. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Just hung in there on that one. And two and two. Hit out towards second. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. The left fielder, number nine, Brandon. Yeah, give him a penalty. So here's Brandon Nimmo. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Tucker. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And this throw gets away from him. Next to hit, CJ Crone. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. From the stretch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And there he goes towards second. Pitch misses low. The throw down is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Runner breaks for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Mondesi takes his lead at third with one away. A swing and a miss there. Two and two. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. C.J. Crone becomes out number two this inning. Now the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Again, a 1 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Eduardo Escobar stands in as he looks at ball one here. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Mercado has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Drew Rasmussen takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Jesus, hefty. What? 
the the Panthers just like smoke the Lightning like four nothing. Are you serious? And Hefty messaged me said the Lightning are worse always have been. Now their team is legal. They got smoked. Let the homeless retard, useless waste of space know that. Oh my God. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Up top, it's 2-0. Oh. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. And the count will be full. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3 and 0 to punch him out. One away. Striding forward now is the DH, Michael Brantley. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Four runs, six hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Arenado will look this one in, and that's out number two. Digging in will be Yuli Gurriel. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Nimmo in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Cannon Middleton enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Set. Here it comes. And now a check swing, but did he hold up in time? No, swung the bat, says Clyde Washington at strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Going back is the left fielder. And that one is gone. So now it's Brian Reynolds. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit out towards second. Segura to his left. He's there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. And now here is Mitch Garver. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. A high fastball. What is there. Chris Bryant? Bases are empty here with two men I think he's a 78. And he takes he's a 78? Yeah. That was a tempting pitch this Damn. Weekend, right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Adalberto Mondesi would be next. Guriel has it, and the side is retired. Striding in for the Indians, Roberto Perez singled in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2-0 and now. Here's the pitch. Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. and And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. 
And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And now the first pitch. Oscar Mercado stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You can tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Oscar Mercado is down for the first out in the seventh inning. Kyle Tucker is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul for the second strike. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Standing in now, Gene Segura. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Still only one out in the inning. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches. All Invite a Always seems to make it Paul. On the opposing right guy. Now with the plate, I'm in a game. Comes in two for three with a couple I got of runs it. thus far on his line. Yeah, going back to that last AB when he hit the home run, man. That ball was up and out of the zone. This guy's a real good high fastball hitter. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking I got to get that ball somewhere below the knees because this guy definitely likes that ball up and elevated. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Here he comes again, one, two. Two out, nobody on. Sharp ground ball toward the Damn it, right into the ship. Here, I'll add him. Alright, right here. Right. There we go. Leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. And now the infield shifts into a bunt prevent formation. No surprise with the speed that's at the plate. Here's a slider that's inside, one and zero. Oh. Swing and he pops him up. And Why no does he contact swing? swing? Oh, he's not actually. Okay, now he's not doing it. A ball lined over the head of Crawford in the left center of base hit. Right guy. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Pitch misses low. The throw down he is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. 1 0 pitch on the way. Hit back up the middle. Segura has it. And there's one away. If you want up to do next uh, for Minnesota, CJ Crone. He went down on strike last time. Oscar, up. I, yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. like a starting pitcher back in this situation. This after my third pitcher in my rotation in is dog dude. got to find a way to so. put the ball in play. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. 
He's in at second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Here now is Rafael Devers as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for two for him to this point. And he won't bite at that point either. You're playing one of the worst players in the league. Feels like it's getting away from him out there. You were playing a guy that plays on directional and classic. There's nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike. Trust me, everyone's going to 10-0 this guy of whenever they play. So he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Now into the box, Eduardo Escobar, runner in scoring position with two. What'd you say? And now the first pitch. <laughs> Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip it on the first, and with it, that ends the inning. I, it's not that I don't want him, I just, I would like a two for one because my corner infielders are really fucking shitty and I feel like I can get like a lowered, no, a lowered, a lower tier diamond and like a gold to fix my corner infield spot, or like a two high golds. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. And that'll get down to lead off single for Crawford. I mean, you could trade so Luriano for a corner infielder if you, if you do make this happen. Josh this is Bell the next me. to hit. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Then what are you going to do? Is put Teoscar or Bryce at DH? On a line, that's a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. So now to the plate, Michael Brantley as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Hernandez, a native of Tennessee, he's got a sinker, a slider, and a changeup. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Sinker, three and two now. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. So it was a strikeout swinging. Yuli Gurriel becomes the first out of the inning. No balls in one strike. Ready with the 0-1. Swung on and missed that strike two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back case with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Here comes another 0-2. See, getting rid of Harper would be meaning I don't have any lefties in the line. <laughs> and this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will Because it doesn't really matter. Stats will matter. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Oscar Mercado is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 0. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Like I'm so first, used to having third, so many righties, it's almost second, like Brentley, first, challenging once end. Harper comes up because it's a completely different pitch mix. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. 
Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Hit in the air down the left field line. Oh, the run is Louis Votto is fucking it, useless against left. Jam unscathed. Oh, and that will bring in Nolan Arenado. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Yimmy Garcia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. First pitch of the A.B. now. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two My two. starting pitching is so hey, if he's gonna suspect. Execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day. If he's going to execute it like that. Breezy's going to win every game, third. Thirteen to nine. Absolutely. Ready with the payoff pitch. They just have to be fair. They just have to be fair. We don't care anymore. But if we see something like of what the Brewers guy was doing, then we'll step in. That's it. If we, as long as we don't see any shit like the Brewers guy, where he was trading diamonds for silvers and shit, then go ahead. That's all we ask. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And he fouls this one off. Now another one-two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down. The hold on, right here. And no swing. It's ball three. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. And now in the box, Mike Yastrzemski. He's set and the pitch. In the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. Well, I'm going to need another batter. Here it comes 1-0. And, oh. and it's fouled away. These are the moments that don't always show up. On the What'd you say, Rega? Right Big spot. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. And that one is gone. If it's Renfro, I would want probably Webb, but if it's Teoscar, then I wouldn't need Webb. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No hits to this point. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Mercado is there, two gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Adalberto Mondesi. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. As he'll take a look at ball one. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Guriel has it, and the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one, and in to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. Liam Hendricks comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. First pitch on the way. The 1-0. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. 
And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. <sighs> what were you talking about? Hitting machine? And now, Gene Segura. Swing and lift I'm surprised Bryce Harper doesn't have it, considering he's going to win MVP. Struggling so far in this one, and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Swing and a ball hit towards. He's got Walker. Walker is very OP. I don't know how often you check win, but you get like every check swing with that. I'll trade you Dansby for Gene. Yeah, one at a time, pussy. Wait your turn. <laughs> Now, this is a perfect example of why this man no I literally have been into my own zone for the last 10 minutes throwing absolute thunder right here pumped up and looks the part one run game here in the top of the ninth two and two oh he he just has a glitchy swing that folks like just stand alive he also I need a corner here I do too another try at two two You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan fouled away and now this will be the tenth pitch of the at bat inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four so a runner at first now with one away and stepping in the slick fielding shortstop Brandon Crawford and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Yastrzemski is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. And he will hustle back to first as he thinks better of trying to move up. Now to bat, Josh Bell. He's got two hits in four at-bats. Fouled off. Ramirez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. All right, guy, what are we thinking? Struck him out, so it remains a one I don't know. I haven't actually looked at live series cards in probably over a month, so I haven't seen everybody's updated overall. So here is Brandon Nimmo. He was retired I'll look at it. His swing isn't bad. It's just his power is just rancid. He's a shortstop, right? Econ has this one and earn a save in the night. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he's got nice fielding Mercado and pretty pieces. Is there and he's got that all important first but his righty stats are like so egregious to the ass. Who is? Probably gonna, he's got one hit in probably going to face bats. more righties than he do lefties. But pitch on its way. But that's not that bad. 61 power is definitely not the clear the wall. It's just a matter of how many righties versus lefties that you face. A great hitter like that, you can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to three and zero. Throw on to first, he'll get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. Twins down to their final out. Oh my God! God damn it! He's right guying me. Okay, what are we thinking on our deal? Also, guys, do not forget, when you play against the Orioles, when you play him again, play your lefties. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's... No, he's not. Oh, my God. What happened? He's... Putting in Yair Molina. <laughs> Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. That's wide 2-0. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. <gasps> but this will land untouched. Set and the 2-1 pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. 
So the bottom of the ninth is still alive after the two out success. Escobar standing in as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Oh. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike for the Twins. To two balls and two strikes now. Still two and two. Two out with the man at first. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. He's set. Here's the two-two. And this ball swung out and hit the center is. field. And this should do it. Oh my Ross, God! Probably not, but I would for anybody but Joshua. G guys, I defeated T Stuff. <laughs> oh my God! How the fuck did I do that? Tight one, seven to six, the final I could give you man. Manuel Margot or Nick Armitter or the, the Dalton Bar show, or even James McCann could be yours. On the mound. Just not. So that's a wrap robust. here tonight. To Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Anybody except for Barlock. And Kyle Lewis is also starting, so not him either. Um, no, it's center field. Oh, no. Look at my pitchers. <laughs> yeah, you know, the 